Hello family, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry for the late upload this week. In today's video, I'm going to share with you another dinner recipe that you're going to love. Let's get to today's video. I'm just going to start the video by preparing my beef. I am going to wash my beef well, add it to a pot, add some water to cover it, and then I'm going to cook it until it's tender. So I boiled my beef with some vinegar to get rid of the smell. When my beef is ready, I'm going to set it aside and then moving on, I'm going to start preparing some rice. If you have leftover rice, you don't have to do this part of the video. I'm going to add some water to my pot. I'm going to be cooking one and a half cups of rice. I'm going to put my pot to a boil. And then I'm going to add my rice after my water is boiled. So the rice I had at home was brown rice. I soaked it for 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, I just washed it and cooked it. And like you are seeing right now, my rice is ready. You can use any type of rice you have at home. I'm going to set that aside. Moving on, I'm going to start making my beef stew. I added some oil to my pot. And to it, I added one medium-sized chopped red onion. I'm also going to add a quarter tablespoon of black pepper to give it a little heat and some garlic powder a quarter tablespoon to I also added a quarter tablespoon of ginger I'm then going to mix my onion my onions together with my spices really well as shown in the video and then I'm going to add my two medium sized chopped red tomato I'm then going to cover my pot as shown in the video to soften my tomatoes and after a while as you can see my tomatoes are soft and I'm sorry about the camera angles you guys my tripod broke and it was really hard to manage shooting without a tripod so to my tomatoes mixture I'm going to add some Royco cubes I broke two beef Royco cubes to my tomatoes and then I'm going to give it a quick mix as shown in the video. And then I'm going to add my beef stew that we prepared in the beginning of the video. Moving on, I'm going to add my cabbage. Since it's a beef cabbage stew, it won't be so without the cabbages. So I chopped my cabbage to medium size and then I'm going to add it bit by bit as shown in the video. And then I'm going to adjust my water. I'm also going to adjust salt if necessary and then I'm going to cover this and let it steam for a few minutes so i'm going to be multitasking and moving on we are going to start frying our rice to my preheated pan i'm going to add enough oil and then i'm going to add my one medium sized chopped red onion i'm going to give it a good mix and then i'm going to add to it one medium sized chopped carrot and then all I'm going to do is to let my carrots and onions fry for a little while until my onions are golden brown. Or when they begin to turn golden brown. I'm now going to add some coriander powder. If you have chopped coriander, you can use it. I'm also going to add some paprika. I'm going to add one tablespoon of paprika and for the coriander I also added one tablespoon and then I'm going to give my vegetables a good mix 
as shown in the video and then i'm going to start adding my rice bit by bit as i mix so when frying my rice i'm going to ditch my wooden spoon and then i'm going to use my fork to mix well so that my rice doesn't break and mash and since it's brown rice i really don't want it to break so much since i soaked it before cooking it and as you can see our rice is ready i'm going to set it aside moving on i'm going to check on my on our stew and as you can see our stew is ready is cooked enough and this dinner recipe was really really good you guys i loved how simple it was and how good it was it was so tasty i'm just going to add some chopped coriander to my beef cabbage stew and give it a mix and that is ready i hope you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye